Hello and welcome to Casio Chaos Theory. In this video, we are going to be featuring, actually, what are we going to be featuring? I know, let's summon the gods of Casio and ask them what we should feature today. Hold on. Yes, I've got the Magic VR1. I'm going to summon the gods of Casio by saying the magic words, playing the magic melody, and snapping my fingers. Then they'll tell me what to feature today. Here we go. Casio Chaos Theory. What? Oh, it must be faulty. It put me in some kind of parallel universe in another galaxy. Oh. Damn thing, maybe the batteries are flat or something. Oh, hang on. What, what's, what's that noise? Oh, OMG, oh wow, look. Is this, is this a Casio Tone CT201? Oh wow, this is, this is from 1980. This is the very first ever Casio Tone home keyboard ever made and 1980, I get it. Ah, so the, the gods of Casio have sent me back to 1980 so I can show you, demonstrate to you the very first Casio tone. That's just amazing. Well, hang on, what's this more noise? Again. OMG, again. This is a Casio tone TTS 300, one of the very latest Casio tone models that have been released in the, in the last year or so. I get it now. I've been sent to a parallel universe where 1980 and the present day coexist. And the Casio gods want me to demonstrate this 1980 Casio tone and compare it with a present day Casio tone just to show you how far things have come. Well, let's set these two bad boys up and see how they compare. This is a limited edition brochure celebrating 40 years of Casio instruments. I'm lucky to get this because it's actually only available in the UK. Uh, I found a way of getting one. But if we look inside, it's got lots of information about Casios and the famous models. But there's a nice little timeline here where it shows where it all started way back in 1980 with the Casio Tone CT201. And then it follows a timeline showing all the significant models that were released through the years, right up until 2019. But as I said, this is where it all started in 1980 with the Casio Tone CT201. And that's exactly what I've got right here, a CT201 from 1980. I also have a Casio Tone CTS300 from late 2019. And this was um, a new line of Casios where they resurrected the Casio Tone product name. The Casio Tone CT201 has 29 tones available and they're selected using the white keys with the corresponding number up there and the play and set button. The tones are all output in mono and it has a four octave keyboard to play them with. It also has two envelopes which are selectable via the switch here. Most of the tones to get the tone that's actually described you use tone number one. But you can also engage tone number two, which seems to give a slower attack rate to an envelope, I think. It also has a sustain input. It can do sustain, but only via the pedal, which I've got plugged in, so I can activate it. And that is pretty much the CT201. I forgot to mention, it also has a vibrato switch that gives a quite a mild vibrato effect, but I won't be using this in any of the tones that I will be demonstrating in this video. The CTS300 model has 400 tones. It has five octaves of keys, so it's got an extra octave over the 201. It also has rhythms, and it has drums, and it has a dance music mode. Additionally, it has stereo reverb, and this model, the 300, CTS300, has velocity-sensitive keys and a pitch bend. It 
doesn't have a vibrato switch, but many of the, the tones have vibrato if you press and hold the key down, and it's so like a delayed vibrato. It will come in after a couple of seconds. And it also has a sustain button, so you can add extra sustain to the tones. But it also has a sustain pedal input, but I don't have a three and a half millimeter jack for a sustain pedal, so I'm not using that, but I can just use, use the sustain button. I must point out that this video is not a review or a competition between these two Casio tones. I hope to do a full review on both these models at some point in the future. But for now, this video, we are just comparing the tones only. I've gone through the CT201 and found a selection of the tones from the various instrument categories. And then I try and match them to the similar tones on the CTS300. For instance, if that had a violin, I'd find a violin on here. And just to see how they compare with four decades between them. For fairness, the CTS 300's stereo reverb and velocity sensitive keys will be switched off so that its tones can be compared with the CT201 on a more equal footing. For each tone that's going to be demonstrated, I will play the keys in octaves on the CT201, starting at the lowest, going up the keyboard to the highest. I will then duplicate that on the CTS 300 with the same tone or the same type of tone matching the octaves and if the CTS goes up another octave or below another octave I will add that tone or that uh, I'll play that key as well. I will then play alternate one keyboard to the other so we can get more of an idea just how similar or not similar the tones actually are. Then I will play a simple melody chord sequence or a, uh, melody and a chord combination and duplicate that on the CTS 300. And I will also just play chords on one, then the other, alternate and maybe even play them at the same time. And lastly, I will play a simple melody with the sustain engaged on both keyboards to see how much the sustain adds to the sound as well. After all that, I will then briefly comment on the tones and how I feel they compare and how they come across. Without further ado, let's compare the tones of the granddaddy of Casio tones with its much younger relative and see just how different, or in some cases, how similar they might actually be. Tone number one on the CT201 is the electric piano. And on the CTS 300, tone number 11 is the electric grand piano. It's the closest electric piano I could find.
straight away we can hear quite a difference between how the two Casio tones portray this sound. The CTS300 does a very good job of replicating the sound of an electric piano. It has the attack and it has the kind of the feel as if there's almost hammers hitting strings, even though it's an electric piano. In comparison, the CT201 doesn't sound like an electric piano at all. However, it does have its own sound, its own character. It's kind of a unique sound. It's very warm, it's kind of gritty, a bit fuzzy, and it's very lo-fi sounding. And, and, but it's nice, I do like it. It's, it's a nice sound, as long as you don't want it to sound exactly like an electric piano. Tone number two on the CT201 is the electric guitar. Tone number 71 on the CTS300 is clean guitar one. <laughs> Clearly the CTS300 has much more of the feel sound of a guitar. It's got that sort of twangy, plucky sort of sound. And it sounds almost springy, the, the CT201. It's kind of a nice, it's a warm sound, but it's warmer than this one. But it doesn't have the attack. So definitely this one is more realistic as a clean plucked guitar. And this one, not really. Nice, nice sound though. Tone number three on the CT201 is a Koto. And there's a Koto on the CTS300 and it's tone number 266. <laughs> Point out, I'm not sure if that tone is fully working because it sort of sounds a bit distorted and it's when it tails off at the end, it sounds a bit odd. It's sort of weird, it's all distorts and.
doesn't sound very healthy. Uh, maybe it was not very good, but this definitely sounds like a koto. That definitely does not sound like a koto. It's got a gritty sound. You could still use it, but not for a koto. Tone number five on the CT201 is the electric clavichord. Tone 24 on the CTS300 is the clavi one. <laughs> Similar to the electric guitar, I'm, I'm not sure if the, the voice not quite, whether it's supposed to sound that way. Because again, if you listen, it sounds like it dies out and distorts as it's tadding off. It sounds a bit gritty. Almost it's like a tiny bit of feedback, but it just doesn't sound quite right. But it, it almost sounds a bit like a clavichord. You get away with it as a clavichord, but clearly this, the, the CTS-300, definitely sounds like a clavichord. The CT-201, uh, the clavichord in another universe, which is probably where we are right now. But it, that might not even be working properly, I'm not sure on that one. But still, this, this sounds like a clavichord, that doesn't really, kind of, unless you do little staccatos. Tone number six on the CT201 is the harp. Tone number 98 on the CTS300 is harp one. <laughs> the CTS 300 sounds like a harp. That's a very good representation. It's very convincing. I'm sure you could put that in a recording and people may not suspect that it's not actually a real harp. The CT201, surprisingly, that's quite a nice sound. It, quite, it sort of sounds like a harp. It's close. And it, in a mix, you might get away with sort of 
Imagining is a harp. Maybe. It's a nice sound. I do like that's one of the nice sounds on the 201. Tone number nine on the CT201 is the glockenspiel. And on the CTS 300, tone 37 is the glockenspiel. The CTS-300 definitely sounds like a glockenspiel, and it behaves like a glockenspiel. Uh, it, it sort of goes off pitch, off tune slightly as you go down in pitch towards the low end of the keyboard, like a real glockenspiel would. The CT-201 doesn't really sound like a glockenspiel. It sounds like a Casio tone CT-201 glockenspiel. And, I, and it's good for it. It has this, I like the sound. You wouldn't pass it off as a real glockenspiel, but... It's still, it's still usable, still a nice sound, but if you want the real glockenspiel sound, you need to use a CTS-300. Tone number 12 on the CT-201 is the Celesta, and tone 36 on the CTS-300 is Celesta 2. Now, I need to point out that the way the CT-201 works is none of the tones have any natural sustain. The moment you let go of the key, this tone will die. So even if it's a, um, a, a bell sound or a plucked string sound, which should normally ring afterwards, even with no sustain added, it should have some natural sustain, but this doesn't. Let me show you. Whereas if I hold this, the sustain pedal down, now you get the sustain. Whereas the CTS-300 got the natural sustain for this instrument, the Celesta, and it's sustained even more if I put this sustain on. So just to give the CT-201 a little bit of a chance on this tone, I'm going to play it with the sustain pedal. Once again, the CTS-300 does a very good job of replicating the sound of the Celesta. It has that metallicness to it, that bell-like quality, and reproduces the sound very, very well. 
The CT201 lacks the attack, it lacks the bell-like quality, the metallicness that the CTS300 is able to do. However, the 201 does have this nice sound. It's got a kind of a grungy, gritty, warm sound to it. There's a bit of a bell-like quality to its sound, um, but not enough to, to pass it off as a Celesta. Though, of course, it can be used as an individual and unique tone in its own right. And that brings us to the end of part one of this two-part video where we are comparing a Casio Tone CT201 from 1980 with a Casio Tone CTS300 from the present day. Straight away, we can, we can hear quite a difference between these two keyboards, and the sound of 1980 is not very accurate in reproducing traditional instrument sounds. It, it's okay, it does, doesn't do too badly with some types of tones, but others it's kind of not really. Meanwhile, this CTS300 does an excellent job of reproducing those traditional instrument sounds. However, it is worth bearing in mind that the CT201 has, so has its own character, it's got its own sound, it's got, it's got a soul. And it's kind of a unique sounding instrument, and, and I like it a lot. Meanwhile, the CTS-300 is a little bit kind of generic. It doesn't have its own character, um, but that's because it's so good at reproducing traditional instrument sounds. In part two, we will go through the second half of the selected tones in the Casio Tone CT201 and again compare them with similar tones with the Casio Tone CTS300 just to see how similar or how different they are. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed it, please do consider pressing that like button and if you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing and remember, Casio.